Children, children. Yes, Auntie. Welcome to another evening of Nile Bam. Yes. Our story today is titled The Lion and the Sheep. So sit back and listen attentively. Long time ago, in the animal kingdom, a sheep was passing and saw a lion crying inside a locked cage. The lion begged the sheep to save him with a promise not to kill and eat him. But the sheep refused. Please sheep, help me. But you lion, why should I let you out? Because I'm the king of the jungle. And if you let me out, I promise not to eat you. I give you my word. After much persuasion, the sheep felt guilty and opened the cage for the lion. Now, the lion was very hungry, having stayed in the cage for days without eating. He quickly grabbed the sheep to kill and eat, but the sheep reminded him of his promise. What are you doing? I've been trapped for quite a long time and I am hungry. But you promised! I lied! <laughs> they were still arguing when other animals passed and asked what was going on. The lion and the sheep narrated their own side of the story. But because of fear, all the animals supported the lion except the tortoise who claimed not to understand their story. We heard you roar. What's the problem? But he's a lion. That's what he does. He promised not to eat me if I set him free. I never said that. Why would I, the lion, make such a promise to a sheep? Now, the tortoise asked the lion to show them where he was before the sheep rescued him. Then, the lion pointed at the cage. And the tortoise said, Mm. Did any one of you see what happened? Are you sure the lion really needed your help? Yes! He was helpless! Me? Helpless? How can the king of the jungle be helpless? <laughs> Poor lion! Saved by a sheep! How dare you! I need help from no one! Watch as I set myself free and don't dare question me ever again. Then the lion entered the cage and the tortoise locked the cage. The animals were surprised and the elephant asked. What do you think you are doing? The lion will still be hungry tomorrow and we don't know who he will eat next. Oh! Children, children! Yes, Auntie! This is the end of our story. 
Does anyone have a question? Why did the lion make a promise? I refuse to keep his word. Because it is in the nature of the lion to feed on other animals. Children, the lessons from this story are Number one, never support evil today because it doesn't affect you directly. Number two, always be smart when making decisions. Number three, no matter how bad people treat you, never stop being a nice person. And the last one, don't feel intimidated by people stronger than you. So, until next time, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.